five best button practices that every website owner should use. Hello, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft, and I want to help you design a better website. Today, I want to talk about uh, the five best button practices that you should follow, that every business owner should should do. Uh, so, right quick, I'll give you the I'll give you the five, and then I'll explain. Uh, number one is is having uh, the num the number of buttons that you have on the top of your page. Number two is going to be the label of the button. Number three is the sh color. Number four is the shape. And number five is the link. Okay, so now we know what our, our five best button practices are. Let me explain each one of them to you. And then I also want to show you some before and, and some before and after examples. Okay, so number one is, is having uh, at least one button but no more than two buttons on your home page. Okay, uh, the reason for this is you want the customers want to engage with you, but if you give them too many options, they're going to get distracted, and and then they're never going to make a decision to to get engaged because they're they're looking for that thing to uh, to click on and engage, but they they're not sure what to do when you have more than two options there. So it kind of it, it distracts them and it prevents them from having clarity on what to do um, so number two is the the label of the button uh, you want the you want the button to say exactly what it's going to do uh, you want to avoid things like learn here get more get started um, you want to avoid things like that because the button itself is unclear. So just imagine if you had a button on a page by itself and it said learn more. Well, what are you gonna learn more about? Uh, so it doesn't really make sense. And behind the scenes, there's also uh, you know accessibility issues. So the button says learn more. It, again, it doesn't define what it's gonna do, but there's also SEO consequences. Uh, if it just says learn more, well, that's not search engine friendly either so if you were searching for something specific uh, it, if you're trying to rank your page for something specific then that button's not going to help you uh, so that's why it's really important to label things exactly what they are so you set those expectations right uh, it's kind of like you know when when your friends play tricks on you and they say oh check out this great uh, kitten video you know and then to give you a link to the uh, famous you know the Rick Roll you know you're watching YouTube and you're watching the music video so you've been tricked and so you don't want to do that to your customers you don't want to trick them you want to label the buttons and link them to the thing exactly as 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 it says it's going to be linked to the third part is going to be uh, your color of the button uh, so there's been a lot of research on this and I, I don't know the stats but I'm telling you that uh, warm colors do best a lot of people think that oh green is the color of money or you know uh, you know or other colors have psychological meanings and we should use one of those colors but most often times a warm color button red yellow orange uh, those kind those color t buttons are they're more attractive uh, and people are more likely to click on a button of that color uh, so you want to stick with uh, with what works there uh, to increase that click-through rate uh, the fourth item is the shape of the button and I have had a customer before to email me and say hey that you know it doesn't even look like a button uh, so when you just put a square box on on the page and it's just kind of floating in there or maybe the the layout and design is very box oriented and then your button is square as well sometimes it's just not really clear that that's actually a button to click on so you can do things like round corners and add shadows uh, you know and even change the text color that's on the button so you have the background color the text color uh, rounded corner shadows so there's lots of different things that you can do to make it look like a button and that just entices the users that oh that's that's the thing that I want and I know it's a button I'm gonna click on it uh, the fifth uh, element here uh, best practice is link the button 
to the appropriate page. And this goes back to uh, number two, labeling the button correctly. Well, so number five is link the button to the place that the button describes. So if you're if you are putting on there, you know, a quote, uh, you know, or estimate. Okay, the button says uh, plumbing estimate, and you click on plumbing estimate. Then they're fully going to expect the page that they land on to be plumbing estimate. So the title of the page is going to match to the button, which is going to match to why they are there. So that's super important. Again, we don't want to mislead people when they're when they're clicking on on buttons on your website. So those are the five pieces. Now I want to go through and show you kind of before and after, and then also another example uh, in, in a nonprofit situation that's just a really great example. Okay, so today we're looking at this uh, before of Pure Solar Electric, and I'm going to scroll through, and we're going to we're going to look at the buttons that are on this uh, on this previous page. Uh, you can see at the top it was actually very good. There was just a single button up here, uh, and the call action was call today. Uh, it's not clear what you're calling about but you know that if you click that button you're gonna be calling a phone number they do have the phone number listed above so that's pretty cool but as we scroll down the page we see the service area and then the solar services and you can see that we have a different button it's a different color uh, and it says something different see all solar services so this section is about solar services and it's linking to solar services but uh, you know, if I'm if I'm here on this part of the screen, then I, and I want an estimate. There's no opportunity for me to get an estimate. Right, as we scroll on down, here is the quote. So here's the free estimate that I was looking for. It was down here, but but here the button says get started. So again, the the, the label of the button doesn't match what it is that I want. Um, I see the text that says free estimate over on the left and I would probably want to click on that but it's not a button the orange button on the right is actually the button to where I want to go but it's but it's labeled differently uh, so that's uh, I think three different buttons we have so far electrical services and this would be uh, a fourth one so we have solar and then we have electric and we have the quote and the call at the top so that's four different buttons and then the next section is the quite wholesale, which this says learn more. The label is is you know doesn't match what it's going to be, and it's also something that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for to get a quote, uh, so this button is not going to be appropriate for that. Um, so I think that's five. And then here we have just too many buttons. So there's three here. There is a shop now button. That's exciting. If I could, just, if I wanted to go ahead and buy something. We have a get a quote, which is which is good if I'm looking for the estimate, but I'm not sure what kind of quote I'm going to get. So uh, again, it's it's not exact, uh, but it's but it's okay. And then the third button is try an attic fan. Um, so that's just really distracting. It's not exactly on on par with what I'm looking for if I'm ready to shop or if I'm ready to get my quote. Um, so now we're looking at I think six and maybe seven different buttons and the other button said get started didn't say, say get a quote so that's a different label than the previous button and then at the bottom of the page we have a call now button and it's a different color so our our labels don't match throughout the buttons we have too many different buttons and we have we only have two colors but then the words don't match and the labels don't match so there's a lot of things going on in the page and this is something that we talked with the customer about and we wanted them to help optimize this page one last note is uh, you know this is a screenshot but there's also not a button up here in the main menu so and typically what we can do is we can make this navigation stick to the top so when you're scrolling the web page and if one of these is a button in the main menu then that button stays there and that means it's always available uh, and it's, it's close by so now let's look at the results of the redesign and so here's the live page now and you can see here's the button at the top that I was just talking about free electrical slash solar quote because they do both 
Um, so that's very clear. That's exactly what you're going to get. When you click on that, you're going to get a free quote for electrical or solar. Uh, and then that button is consistent with the button in the, in the, uh, the header here, uh, the, main, the main bar. Uh, and then we have a new button here and we have it in gray because it's not quite as important as the primary button so the primary button again is a bright orange color it sticks out it's very obvious that, that this is the choice if i'm looking for electrical court i'm looking for the hot button and that's it free electrical solar quote uh, so the chat button is, is just in gray in case i'm not sure maybe i'm not ready to uh, get that quote i got a couple of questions then I can uh, I can click the chat button and engage there. Um, so scrolling on down the page, you can see that our button stays in the menu since we've added into the main that main navigation. The button is always available, which is really great. So even when I'm reading this section about the service area, I still have that option of clicking on the free electrical solar quote. As I scroll on down, so the end of this section here of the solar services, we have the free electrical solar quote button here. And then we see it again here. The, the button color is consistent. The rounded corners are consistent. The color of the text is consistent. The label is consistent. Everything about the button is exactly the same throughout the page. And here we can see it again in the quite cool section. And this section before had three buttons, and now it just has the two. It has the uh, the primary call to action in orange, and it has the secondary in gray. And that's it. So that's how we took uh, you know just small revisions, really, to totally transform this home page and to give the visitors the opportunity to get where they want to go. Either they can get a quote or they can ask some questions. Um, so I've got one more example that I want to show you here and this is for a nonprofit organization. They're very event driven and uh, we're even using a third component here or a different component. We have the main call to action right here in yellow. Um, it's a little generic. It says attend the next event. Um, and then it links to that event. We also have that here and we have the label above it, uh, but it tells you what the event is. This rotates out all the time, so it's a bit of a challenge to uh, you know, get the label of the button, uh, to change the label every time. Um, so instead, we leave the button, we left the label alone, but we have the slide up over here on the side. So, and if they dismiss this, slide up then they still have the main button that's here on the page and as you scroll down to the page you can see the events and those buttons are in blue and the sponsors are there so really that's the only page on the on on the page where you can engage with those buttons it's at the top of the header here and it's the slide up uh, but I thought that was a really good example of being able to show you the slide up of having an alternate way to have having a button come up. Uh, you know, it, it could be set to scrolling 50% of the page so that it's, uh, you know, so then it just comes up either time based or when you've reached, uh, you've looked through some of the content. So that's just a different approach as opposed to having the, the button, button up in the main navigation. It's just an alternate way to, to achieve that. So. I hope you've enjoyed these five. Just to recap again, uh, the number one was having at least one button, but no more than two in your they're above the fold part of your website. Uh, number two was to make sure that your button is labeled correctly. Number three was your color. Make sure you use a warm color and your button and be consistent throughout the page. And number four was the uh, the shape of the button make it look like a button and number five was link it to the place that is labeled so make sure it's labeled correctly and link to that uh, I hope you've enjoyed um, our little uh, discussion today about the five best button practices and remember I, this is David Gruff from Shepherd's Loft and I want to help you design a better website